Not all white people are intelligent. Not all black people are stupid. Hey, stop jeering gender. Gender? pretty often pretty often you don't want to miss my new uploads so I'm gonna talk about a little piece of my everyday life okay not everyday, but you know what I mean my childhood I've always been considered a, a geek a nerd a lame all of that from elementary school, from the moment I started going to public school, I think my mom put me in public school. I was in my first public school around like second grade maybe. And um, from that moment, it was horrible. I went from private school um, to being, you know, a little bit sheltered and um, around my mom more. And I went straight to public school and y'all, that shit sucked. I started being bullied very badly. I was not happy. <laughs> I got bullied a lot. I got called every name in the book. I got called um, teacher's pet. I got called ugly. I got called anus. Because my first name kind of looks like... Okay, let's just scratch that. <laughs> and either way, I was called a lot of names. I was called... One time I was called African booty scratcher. I don't know why, I was surrounded by a bunch of black kids, like, okay, you call me African Booty Scratcher, I'll make you, what does that make you, I don't know, but, yeah, hey, I was bullied a lot, I was bullied a hell of a lot, and I started to hate myself, I started to hate my life, and all that jazz, and it just kept going on until middle school, yeah, pretty much middle school, I think high school was where it, like, kind of stopped, like, yeah, it kind of stopped because high schoolers, I guess they get a little bit too mature for bullying, which is great. But, um, elementary and middle were not so cool for me. I was constantly bullied. Now, the other weird thing that started to happen to me as I got older was that I was being called white girl. I wasn't sure whether, whether to consider that an insult at the time. I think at the time, I just thought like, okay, I know how to speak, I know how to write, I know how to fucking spell. Um, okay. But that's why the kids were calling me white. They used to call me white because I was mannerable and I was sweet and I was, um, I knew how to act. I wasn't acting like all the little fast ass ghetto girls out there. So they called me white because I basically acted like a white girl. Which is ridiculous. We all know it's fucking ridiculous. But hey. And that went along with the teacher's pet thing because I was very smart, you know, before my grades started falling because the abuse. I was smart and I was always up in the teacher's face and getting good grades and the teacher was praising me, all of that. So I had more of a reason to call me a white girl because I was smart. I wasn't failing like them. I was actually paying attention to the lessons and just doing my shit. So, um... I just got tired of being called white girl. Eventually I got tired of it. Like when I got older, you know, I got used to it. It's like pretty much the story of my life. Like everybody would call me that. Plus I had long hair. Back when my hair was relaxed, my hair was long anyway. It was abnormally long. Um, back when I used to get perms and shit. Like when my mom finally allowed me to get a perm at age 15. I, um, my hair was long. And it grew a lot. My hair was always abnormally long, or abnormally, what we consider now ain't no fucking abnormal. It was long. For, at the time, what's considered long was long then. My hair was always quote-unquote long. So I was definitely called a white girl. I was smart. I was a geek. I had all that stuff against me. I knew how to speak. I knew how to communicate with people. I had fucking manners. And my hair was long. So I had all that against me. All of that. Now, I used to play games, too. I've always played video games. I had that against me also because the black girls in my class were not caring about no damn video games at the time. They just weren't. Yeah, you get the point. So, 
as I got older, I just got tired of being called a white girl. I didn't understand why the smart black people had to be grouped in with being white just because we're different, or just because we don't fit within their mold, just because we're not stupid like them, we're not walking around uh, talking Ebonics, and we're not trying to sneak out of our houses and go fuck boys and go smoke along the side and all that other junk. Like, why do we have to be considered white just because we are, you know, a little bit Why are the introverted girls considered white? Why does it have to be that way? Like, black, like black people can't talk or spell, you know what I mean? We're always expected to be dumb, and I hated that. See, as I got older, it even happened in college. Y'all, the shit even happened in college. I still got called a white girl in college, and you know, pretty much grown people. You know, 18, not grown enough, but you know, was grown nonetheless. And still ignorant. I still got called a white girl. Even in my grown years. So, y'all, I, I don't know, I just... <laughs> Even to this day, I still get called that sometimes. It's not as often because, you know, I'm way older now and people around me are hopefully a little bit more mature than that. So it doesn't happen as often. But yeah, it's, anno it's annoying. And I wanted to tell you all that just, you know, as another piece of my childhood, another interesting piece of my childhood, another annoying piece of my childhood. Don't call me white girl. Because, no. I am black, I am proud, and I can speak, I can spell, I can, hey, I know how to read. <laughs> I've been a bookworm all my life, what do you expect, you know? I'm not stupid, I'm not a stupid black woman. So yeah, that's just, I'm trying to think of another point, I couldn't swear at another point to say on this. Hmm. Oh yeah, my husband, he gets the same thing. He gets the same thing. He's been called a white boy all his life. <laughs> That's ridiculous. He, he wasn't raised around a lot of black people. He was raised a lot, around a lot of whites. And they didn't like him. And some of the blacks, they called him white because he acted more like the white kids than the black kids. You know, he knew how to speak and spell. Teacher's pet, same deal with me. He got bullied a lot for it. They call him white boy up until even fucking now. And yeah, that's just what we deal with. <laughs> but y'all, this has got to stop. That's just pure ignorance. I don't want to be called white girl. Nowhere near. So yeah, that's just what I wanted to say today. I hope people stop doing this. Like I said, it's greatly calmed down. But you know, we're grown. Come on. Let's just not do that. That's just childish bullshit. Not all white people are intelligent. Not all black people are stupid. Hey, stop gender, gender, stop racial stereotyping. Let's just stop that for once. Just because I'm a geek and I'm an introvert and all of this stuff doesn't mean that I'm I need to be considered another race. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So anyway, I believe that's it. I believe that's all I had to say today. And uh, let me know in the comment box if this has ever happened to you. Have you ever been called white? Have you ever been called outside of your race because you were smart? I hear a lot of people online going through that. If you have, let me know your experiences down below and we can chat about it. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. There is plenty more coming. And I hope everyone is having a great day, night, evening, month, year, century. Or whenever you're watching this video. Thank you for watching. Peace out.